to my channel and I do hope you're doing well. So, I am all cosy in bed, slightly feeling better today which is good. Voice isn't as nasally but I still do have my little friends on my face chilling which isn't the greatest but we're going to go with it because today my lovelies I am excited. Woo! Me and Mama G are doing 24 hours of eating Halloween food. Get in my belly. So, the only thing is, and I'm probably going to speak about this more throughout the video, I am highly annoyed at Asda and M&S. Last year, they released their food two weeks before. This year, they're releasing it the week of Halloween. That doesn't leave me time to film. So, this little video, we've got bits from Aldi, Lidl, Tesco's, Home Bargains, and Iceland, I think. All of, like, the proper Halloween food will be coming when we film. Oh, I say I'm feeling better, and then I just get bunged up right there. All of the M&S and Asda food will probably be coming in the actual when we film spend the day halloween with us on the 31st i think it is which is a sunday and then you'll see our halloween vlog on monday the 1st of november and we are finishing off the autumnal season with that video and then as i say christmas content starts after that so in the plan fraction today we've got breakfast kind of lunch i think the lunch could just be cakes i'm not gonna lie and then we've got some din dins and then we've got more cakes and more snacks and some like late night hot chocolate so i'm gonna get my nasally self up try and like get a little bit less disheveled let's just say and let's get in because you know it's gonna be a long one it's a 24 hour challenge with me and mama g and it includes food so we're gonna be eating and having a chin wag along the way you just know the drill don't you so yes get comfy get cozy and let's get in with our 24 hours eating halloween food Woohoo! <laughs> so my lovelies this is the overview of all the bits and bobs we've got we've got some lollies from aldi or lidl not entirely sure but i think that was about 60p We've got some cupcakes from Tesco, which we're going to have as part of our lunch. Look very nice. Salted caramel centre. Hmm. We shall have to see how that goes, shall we? And then we've got two packs of cakes. This is from Aldi or Lidl. Not entirely sure. I'll let you know when we get into the video. But they look all right. They look a bit more like childish. But I like childish, as long as they taste nice. And then I'm so excited for these 12 spooky ghosts from Iceland. I think these were £3 if I'm not mistaken. I think they're just going to be like little bits for dinner. Got these from Home Bargains, little mallow toppers to go on top of a hot chocolate, which I will show you shortly. And then, of course, you cannot have a Halloween video without some crumpets. So good old Asda, this was the only thing they had, I'm afraid. Here is the Home Bargains hot chocolate bomb. Apparently you just put it in the milk, watch it melt and you've got a lovely white hot chocolate it seems. But it looks very funky and we'll see how that goes. I haven't uh, tried one of these before so that's interesting. We've got some Sorin Scream chocolate and blood orange mini loaves. We all know that I love a bit of malt loaf, strawberry loaf. So this I'm very excited to try. And is it a taste test for an occasion if I don't have some Mr Kipfin? And look at these ones there, orange for Halloween love it love it love it and what i do love is these are a returning favorite from last year get a couple of jaffa cakes in my belly because these are absolutely delicious and then we've got some beanies pumpkin spice coffee this will probably be for mama because i'm not feeling too great as you know so pumpkin spice at the minute is making me a little queasy and then we have some pumpkin spice syrup for her also and then for din dins we have got some halloween shaped pasta now this is from lakeland $1.99 a bag, you can get it online or pick it up in your local store. And look, it's just like pumpkins, ghosts, bats, spiders. Yes, I'm 26, but I'm an absolute child. Don't judge me. And then at Cadbury Pumpkin Patch Cakes. I am so, so excited to be trying these. So let's pop it all down. Sham, let's get into the video and stuff our faces for Halloween food, eh? <laughs> so 
I look a little bit better than I did earlier, as I say, trying to conceal the mess, but we're just going to go with it. You want to see an overview of the bits and bobs we've got today. Now, I'm not happy. M&S and Asda last year, they launched their Halloween food two weeks before. This year, they're launching it the week before. So I'm filming this the weekend before 25th of October. And that's when M&S released that. So there's no M&S goodies in this one yet, my lovelies. But if you stay tuned for Halloween, which will be our... Well, no, it should be going up 1st of November, but on Sunday, which is technically Halloween. 31st of October, me and Mama G will be having our little spend Halloween night with us. And there will be M&S food galore. So if you want to see what M&S had on offer, then check it out there. Because Mama G, she's got a little list. She's ready to hit the shops next week. And then hopefully we can get a few bits and bobs. So... What we've got this time is to say, I would have told you in the voiceover, they're like from Aldi, Tesco's, Home Bargains, just bits and bobs where we could. And the little spooky ghosts were actually from Iceland. I was so, when I saw them, I was like, because <gasps> I kept going on a cardo, because a cardo apparently get the M&S food before M&S release it in the shops. And every time they said it's back in stock, I went on there within minutes, they were sold out. So I thought, you know what, we're going to make do with what we've got. So the plan of action for breakfast anyhow is crumpets so these were from asda 99p and then i think when mum goes to m&s in the week we're going to get some m&s crumpets because obviously you've got to have halloween crumpets on halloween ain't you just because we're having it today doesn't take away from the actual halloween day so yes yeah, we're going to have some crumpets we're going to have two each because it's a little bit later now it's about half ten and i am starving and you're probably thinking shan you haven't really got anything in there for lunch. Well, my lovelies, I think we're just going to have cakes for lunch. I mean, I don't feel well. So what a perfect excuse. Oh, he's lost a little eye, bless him. Oh, well. What a perfect little excuse to have some cakes for lunch. So while the crumpets are cooking, I said to Mama G, what does she want to drink? And she wants a Starbucks Americano with some pumpkin spice homemade sugar. I left that in my Bake With Me pumpkin low spice cake. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it down there up above, you know the drill. I made my own pumpkin spice, but I will leave the recipe again down below. It's on BBC Good Food. That little website does me wonders. So she's gonna have a pumpkin spice little latte coffee thing. I think I'm just gonna have, what am I gonna have? I think I'm just gonna have like a plain latte or something. I've been a bit, where I've been feeling right, my taste buds haven't been great, so I don't want to throw myself into the pumpkin spice this early on in the challenge. Well, it's not really a challenge. In my day, just in case it makes me feel a bit queasy. But tonight, the theme is breakfast, lunch, well, lunch snacks, dinner, after dinner snacks, and then after dinner hot chocolate, which I'm really looking forward to the hot chocolate. So, yeah, I'll have my pumpkin spice towards the end of the day. But while those are... Uh, Cooking away, let's go and do it, Mama G's coffee, eh? As you can tell, I like my crumpets. Well, well done. And I've just got, let's say I can't be dealing with pumpkin spice. Oh, I can't be dealing with pumpkin spice this early in the morning with my belly. So I've just got me pumpkin spice mug with a Nesquik hot chocolate pod. But Mama G's here again in Christmas pyjamas. I mean, I told you she's always a season ahead, but we need to get Halloween pyjamas. Oh, look when I go to Walmart this week. <laughs> Whenever you see her, she's always in Christmas pyjamas. So, we're going to sit here. You might recognise the plate. The plate is what we got from HomeSense or TK Maxx last year, the baby one. I have got the big one somewhere. Can't remember where it is. Kind of need to find it, but that's fine. Um, if not, we can just put our dinner on a normal little plate and make it look spooky. Have you dropped it? No. Um, Mummy Drew's got a pumpkin mug. She's got the pumpkin, well it's my pumpkin mug yeah. isn't it? Oh, She's got the pumpkin spice one. But I put with her, she just had a Starbucks Americano. I put a teaspoon of my homemade pumpkin spice sugar and then a few little glugs of the pumpkin spice syrup. And then did you add milk to it in No, the no, it's, it's oh, lovely. Oh, she's got a black coffee. Black. Yes. She's got a black coffee. So 
we're just gonna sit here and continue to watch da -da -da -da, the office usa so it's so, a very chill morning but we shall eat these and give you a verdict of what we think of the crumpets and then when we do our halloween day video we can compare against the uh, ms ones because the ms this year i think are a face of frankenstein oh she's already tucking in <laughs> crumpets and butter but yeah let's roll the time lapse of our stuff in our face watching the office eh demolished but what you did see is we actually had three each <laughs> but I went back and toasted the other two what would you rate about a 10 oh 10 nice with lots and lots of butter I'd say a nine because I think I done them too crispy the first time no they're all right I'll put as Dan again oh see I put ours yeah. like on number four so they were like nice and crispy but what else can you have on crumpets it's just butter no, uh, cream cheese, uh, Deadly. I thought you would have had your curd or sang on it, would you not? No, no, don't, not on crumpets. I would have liked spread cheese. Oh, well, you can do that I got a booklet week. through from Milk and More. I must have signed up to it ages ago. And they gave us like a little um, booklet of what they do. And they do some Christmas cakes. So the Christmas cakes that they do are what we get in John Lewis or Waitrose, the little six box. And they've got them on there, so I was having a little look. So I might do an order, or might wait if we go blue water near Christmas time and can't get any, then I know we can get them from Milk and More. But, ooh, I need to wake up, because we've gone down the little pit of watching about five episodes of The Office. So it's slightly later on at the moment. So for now, we can't eat any more. We're just going to chill, and then for lunchtime... Is going to be the selection of cakes. But not all of them. Because we're going to have more cakes after Dindins. So just cakes. She's happy with cakes. And another pumpkin tea. Oh, and Mama, she's actually addicted to my homemade pumpkin spice sugar. I say it's so easy. You get it from BBC Good Food. I'll leave the recipe down below. You can have that with the syrup. Both. Like this time. So yes, we shall see you. And we're going to have some cakes. I won't be having pumpkin spice yet, as I say, because the smell of mum's coffee was making me feel a little bit queasy earlier. So I'm going to stay away from the pumpkin spice at the moment. But yeah, we shall see you when we're stuffing our face with cakes. And will you still be in your Christmas PJs? Probably until I go for my walk. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, see you later. <laughs> the little overview that we had there am I sitting on my phone yeah <laughs> I thought it felt hard we you would have seen on the overview have got a little cake selection so I've not got all the cupcakes because we will be having cakes after dindins so this is just a little taster but as I say we've got the little plates from Panland that we had last year so we've got this is the pumpkin patch from, is it Cadbury's? I can't remember what was on that packet. I think Cadbury's. This is the Tesco cupcake. Then we've got a fiendish fancy, Mr. Kipling, a sorry mini loaf, and a good old returning Jaffa cake bar. Loved these last year. So yes, as I say, you all know from last year's Halloween, Easter, we always have like a sweet taste test where we rank them. I thought she was eating it already there. She's got another one of her pumpkin spice coffees. I think she's more addicted to pumpkin spice than me at the minute. So, yes, I don't know which order we're going to go in, but let's try and bring you a bit closer so you can see the food, and then we shall get in to our probably not the greatest of healthy lunches, but oh well. Right, what one are you going for first? The pumpkin face. Pumpkin face. So, as I say, I think these are... Cadbury's yes. and they were four for how much were these you got these at Tesco's 150 I think not too bad so I think very nice yeah they're nice sponge it's got like white chocolate going through the middle it's like a mini roll 
Yeah, but it's been squashed, hasn't it? I like a Halloween mini roll. Mmm, very nice. Chin chin. We haven't got no uh, liqueur for tonight. We can't get Halloween drinks anywhere. We could have a rum and something, I suppose. Is that for Halloween? Mm. If all else fails and we can't find anything for actual Halloween, I'm going to improvise with Tesco's Blood Orange Fizz. Because it's orange. Blood Orange. Spooky name, Blood Orange. What, the... Uh, near the... Don't bring anything. Hmm. Oh. What do you think is your favourite 24 hour food challenge? So, Halloween, Christmas, or Easter? I think Easter, maybe. What goes the cakes? Yeah. But we haven't done the Christmas one yet with the uh, Waitrose cakes that we had, have we? So. We were done Christmas food last year. I personally like Christmas food because there's a lot more savoury bits. I like the sweet. And I feel Easter and Christmas, you get a lot more. Halloween, it's, it's been hard this year. Mm. I said I, Asda and M&S are releasing it the week of Halloween. Whereas last year they done it two weeks before. So it has been very, very hard. And as I say, there was probably... A lot more stuff we could have got from like m and but it would have just been more like sweets and that. And we've got plenty of sweets, so... What are you doing? <laughs> so, um, we could have got more bits, but they would have been sweets upon sweets and not actual meals. So, I was very happy that I found the Halloween Lakeland pasta. That was like a good shirt from me. Yeah. I've never seen that before. And apparently you can get winter pasta. I've seen it online, it's £6 a bag, not quite going to pay that, but apparently HomeSense and TK Maxx might have it in, so we shall see. That's very like, like a mini roll, I don't think I could have more than one of them, I think they'd be very sickly if you had Rich. like two or three. Yeah, nice. And it's not white chocolate in the middle, I think it's cream running through it, give it like a creamy texture. I've just got another Nesquik hot chocolate, because I say pumpkin spice, not for me right now. This is my napkin viewers. <laughs> These are like from last year. <laughs> reusing. Obviously not reusing napkins. We've just found them in the box when we was getting all the bits and bobs out. From Tesco. We've got the boo ones with the ghost on the tray. They was from last year. The trays are from last year. Then we've got our big trays for actual Halloween night. They were from last year. The range. Right. So that was very rich. So I don't think to have something sweet after... Should we go in with the sorin loaf? Mm. I love a bit of sorin. If you know me, sorin malt loaf. Huh? It's called sorin, isn't it? I thought it was sorin. Well, what's it say? Well, this says scream because it's the thingy oh. one. It, I, I thought it was serene. I just thought it was a sorin. Anyway. Like a malt loaf, eh? Yeah. Right. You know I love malt loaf, mini strawberry loaf that I've got in the pan shop. So this is chocolate. It's focusing on your face. There we go. This is... Oh my goodness. It keeps focusing on everyone but you. This is a chocolate and blood orange little mini loaf. Oh. And where did you get these ones? Tesco? Yes. How much? Uh, one pound. For six. So not too bad. If I can even get into them. Oh, that's so dinky. I've gone through all of my um, strawberry mini loaves at work. Right, nice what little piece of got on the front? The same. Yeah, all oh. got the vampire. So it's literally like a nice little... Oh, it smells very orangey. Oh, yeah. Let me take yours all the way out the wrapper. Oh, Always oh, has like that chewy texture, like malt loaf. I yeah. wonder why it's chewy, because it's not M a cake. Maybe, maybe you can cut it in half and have a bit of butter on it if you want. Much. I do remember because it's not like a sponge or loaf cake, it's a weird. If you've had malt loaf, you'll know what I mean. Like, it's chewy. And 
it seems like a bit of Christmas spice or something, isn't it? There's a spice in it, cinnamon, maybe. Or is it cardamom or whatever? It's got a bit of a twang. I think that's just a citrus. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what you would call it. It says loaf, but it's not necessarily bread, but it's not necessarily cake because it's got that chewiness. I can't, I can't smell it, but I can taste it. Can you? I think it's a citrus. Oh. Maybe it's a blood orange extract in there because it's blood orange, isn't it? Or is that the drink? That's what they call it. I think. Let us know down below if you've tried any of these before or this year or what you would recommend is your favourite snack. The only one that I did wish we picked up was from M&S, a What's It Jupe. So they're like cheesy crisp in the shape of a fang. But I think when Mama G goes down to get the bits for actual Halloween food, if you see a bag you can pick one up. What, not What's It's but they're fangs? Oh. I think they're £2 a bag. Very pricey now, but Waitrose have got my the Christmas, Christmas tree shaped tortilla chips in chicken and stuffing flavour. But they're two pound again a bag. Yeah, but they're a big bag though, aren't they? Yeah, but I mean, come on, start making it a little bit more affordable. If they put them to a quid, I think they sell so much more. Things are gonna go up now this Christmas meal. I've just read in the paper. Tada just called because he had an emergency with Justy. He's ordered something. He called him. They said they tried to call him three times and they didn't. And then they marked his food as delivered. So I got the job of trying to cancel the payment. So luckily I logged on to his Justy and requested a refund. And then he was like, Well, I still want food. But he's almost out of his monthly allowance on takeaway. So. <laughs> Mum laughs, but he does have a monthly allowance on takeaway. <laughs> the wage rise next year would be going to the takeaways. Honestly, yeah. that was the worst thing. You set it up for him, Jane. I know, but he didn't tell me he was going to use it, and he has been using it. He's been spending about £100 a month on takeaways. And then when he calls, he only had like... 30 quid left. He's done this yeah. 14 quid. No, but wait till you see, Dad. He's gained three stone. Well, it surprised me. And then he said, well, I don't spend it all. And I'm like, you're three weeks into the month and you will have £16 left. So we've just had to order him a take Last out. month, he had 17 pence, didn't he? Or, or £7. He says, I don't use it all. I'm like, but you are, though. You're ordering... I get because I've linked him to my old email address. So every time he orders, I know I get the confirmation email. So if he calls in, I say, oh, I had another takeaway. Did you? He's like, how do you know? Because it comes through to my email. He's been having like two a week lately. I mean, they're not cheap takeaways. He's spending between 14 and 20 quid, which I think is quite expensive on a takeaway, especially for one person. We get a takeaway for us from our Indian for like £12. And he'll spend £16 on a kebab just for him. Because he wants his Mediterranean King prawns that so he keeps moaning the rubbish. So why is he still buying them? So yeah, so I've had the task of ordering that. I don't know if it's going to be on route yet. But yeah, they said they delivered it. They hadn't. He didn't know how to cancel it. He thought he would just like call PayPal. I said, yeah, it don't work like that. So I've had to log it and then see whether they'll give him a refund. Because they'll probably say to him like... Well, why did you request a refund? Because I didn't get my food. But because right. they've marked it as delivered... It's gone somewhere else. That's the thing. But I've had many problems like that. You just have to deal with it. All you'd need now is that I've delivered it to come here, wouldn't you? <laughs> You've eaten all of yours. Yes. So I've eaten half mine. I could find that very sickly because it is quite sweet with the citrus. Oh, that's nice. What do you want to eat now? Uh, the Jaffa cake. Oh, I like my Jaffa cakes. These are six for a quid. Yep. We had these last year. I like these. Very nice. I think you could go wrong with a Jaffa cake. But they are and addictive. And this one is blood orange as well, isn't it? Because I didn't think you'd it's like the raspberry. Orange. Yeah. No, I don't like raspberry.
so yeah this is why also i don't think he should have a just eat account because when he, <laughs> when he called him apparently the conversation got like quite heated and dad was like well i'll just cancel with paypal and the man laughed and i was like you do realize why he laughed because you don't cancel with paypal i think he thought like you could just call them and cancel it i was like yeah it don't work like that well, he, he's not really, he works a computer all day, but he's not really, I don't think, dead computer literate, is he? No, but his work computer is different to, like, yeah, a normal yeah. computer. Yeah. His work computer is for testing and the works he does, mm. not like a general computer. No. So, yeah, so I got lumpered with that. So I don't think, I said to him, I think I'm going to close the account. And he was like, what do you mean? I pay for the account. I said, but you're using it too much. I so I think I need to close your account. It was like, it's my account. I was like, that I set up. Yeah, I was just say, who set it up for me? Mmm. <laughs> and that was even quite, uh, not straightforward, was it, with that? He gave me all his details. Went to register online banking. Kept saying to him, you're going to get a text message. He's like, I'm not getting a text. Read the number out to him again. He went, "Oh no, that's my old works number." So I was like, "I can't re-enter that now." The line, isn't it? I was like, "I can't re-enter that now." I was like, "The only way to change that is to go into the bank now and change it." Oh, I can't be bothered with that. So now he doesn't have online banking. So the only way he can track what he spends is through PayPal because that's all he uses it for, Justy. But then he said to me he made an Amazon purchase the other day, and I think he's made a boo boo on that. He ordered something for £12, but it came out at £2. And I have a feeling he might have accidentally signed up for Prime on his first one. He's adamant he hasn't, but I said to him he needs to check because I think he signed up for Prime. So I said, this is why you shouldn't be having any like form of accounts, really. And that's why people probably think, why has he got like a monthly allowance? Because the thing is, if, say, he orders a takeaway and he's had a drink and he doesn't have his glasses on... <laughs> He, he would do this. So I've just had to order him an Indian, right? And he might think he's ordering a set meal. But if he, like, I don't know, leant over and pressed something and ordered 10 quantity, he would be that person to order 10 chicken madrasses. And when the man turns up with all the bags, he'd be like, oh, and not realise and think he's got free food. Yeah, especially And actually he's probably on. spent, like, 60 quid on takeaways. On one takeaway because he's been drunk and miss. Time Imagine the thing, and with his glasses. so that's why he's only allowed a minimal monthly allowance because we have to preempt if he does anything when he's had a drink, just in case. Your viewers will think your dad's really old, they probably, <laughs> think, they probably think he's a pensioner like me. He's younger than mum, he's nine years younger. So, if you're regular, you know how old mum is, he's nine years younger. <laughs> what? Well, you was a cougar. Shh. My he was days. barely out of nappies. Shush, <laughs> down. <laughs> Predator. <laughs> well, what could he offer me, Shannon? What was I drawn to? My goodness me. No idea. I can't answer you on that one. The only decent thing was we got together and we had you. But apart from that, <laughs> your dad had no wealth. <laughs> He had a funny haircut. He had a oh pair of trousers like Rupert the Bear. The old photos. <laughs> and look, I look at them and I'm like, what is it? And he was like, you're probably going to think this is very stereotypical because I've got copper hair. But Dada in his younger day had like that browny ginger hair. But he had like this god awful like quiff. And then you had mum who used to have her fringe covering her eye and look like Gabrielle. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> the pair of them together, like, what is that all about? The misfit brigade. <laughs> Shane, don't make her mean your, mean your father were weird. Well, the photos didn't crack up all that much. I was nice looking when I was younger, wasn't I? Eccentric. Hey. I, I don't get that photo when I was born and you literally look like Gabrielle. I bet it was the style I used to blow dry my hair and the fringe used to go this side. But it made you look like you had, like, we was hiding an eye patch. No, I did have a glass of it. I used to pop it out for me party trick. <laughs> we still need to get round to scrapbooking. That's been a year since I bought them scrapbooks. 
And we still haven't started scrapbooking. No, but I, I think we'll start next year. Before and after pictures. I, no, but I've got all the photos yeah, and that sitting yeah. there. And that's been a year because I bought that to do last year for Vlogmas and then there was just never any time. And the unit's still sitting down there and we still need to go. The main thing is going through the photos and sorting them into the years. And then once I'm in a flow of sticking them down, I'm all right. We'll be all okay, yeah. And then once like we're all done, then I can start printing because like, obviously this day and age, everything's on our phones or laptops. So then, but I use free prints because you get like 40 free prints a month. Once we're all up to date, I can then start printing like more recent photos from the past coming years and that. And then we can start adding them in. But yeah, that's been a year since I've had that scrapbook. And we can do our family tree, can't we? See if we can do that. So Maybe. we're going to go on to the fondant fancies now. Right. What are these now? Six or eight? Are they 150? Oh, I can't remember. Shannon. Now, I don't normally eat these any other time of the year apart from when they do seasonal ones. So, Christmas, they do, I think, is it red and green icing? Yeah. Halloween, we've got this. And then Easter. I don't really like those. Easter was yellow, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Because I like fondant icing, you know. Yeah, don't. this is nice, very sweet. So, like, looking back, do any of you viewers have, like, any crazy hairstyles that you used to pull off back in the day? <coughs> I'm talking, like, mohawks, big perms, beehives. I used to have really short hair, and when I was going to work, Wet it and go like that fruit with an afro comb, you just stack up little spikes. She looked like Billy Idol. <laughs> but I was better looking than Billy Idol, Shan. <laughs> it's very easy in the morning wash. Afro comb. Granddad used to say, you'll get a death of cold going out with your hair wet. It's done. I would really like to have my hair permed, I think. Well, I've had a perm. You see that picture, didn't you? Not like a perm like Nan would have, just like a big curly perm, yeah, especially like now I've got this colour. I think it looked quite nice. I kind of like Tiffany vibes. I think, I wasn't sure whether I had the perm and then my friend bleached it or whether I bleached it and then I had the perm. Like big pearls. Just volume. I need to start doing some. I'm going to attempt to wash my hair tomorrow. See how that ends up. Uh, oh, I love this when I get a cake. And look, it's got an extra thing. See if you have. So these are the Tesco cupcakes. How much were these? One fifty for two. Very expensive Tesco because we then got Aldi four for or Lidl. Aldi four for a quid. No, four for one thirty nine. Four for one thirty nine, and it cost one fifty for two. For two, yeah. And now I don't know. How I'm, mother, it keeps focusing on your face. Get it off my face. <laughs> I don't because know how I'm going to be watch. with this because, oh, mine's not a double. Oh, we'll we be lucky. They are then lucky. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this because it's salted caramel and I'm not really the biggest fans of salted caramel. Am I gonna like it? Or yeah, not? I think you will start Bailey's. Salted caramel is nothing like Bailey's. Here we are, little ghost. And they're a bit cheap on the uh, filling, aren't they? Well, you've got it on the top, but not in the middle. No, but that's like, I'm sorry, Tesco. That's a minuscule cupcake. Because it's more sponge and just a little. No, it's more icing than sponge. Oh, that didn't even it. fill the whole thing. Oh, I'm not happy, Tesco. You need oh, like a deeper. Oh, well, I can see what you mean. I can see now. It's more like icing. for that. Yeah. The cake should come to the top like ours, and the icing oh, on the right, top. I see what you mean. And they've done half a thing of cupcake and bogged it out with icing. Oh well. Right. Let's I have ugh. to do a right up of that, Shannon. See, doesn't it taste like babies? Oh, right. By the look of your face, you don't like it. I don't like salted caramel. 
What is that then? Chocolate with something poured in it? No, it's caramel with salt, salt caramel. Oh, oh. <laughs> the chocolate sponge is nice. They should have just stuck with like chocolate icing. A little fondant ghost on the top. Mm, no, it's gone. It's thrown it away. You ate it. Mm. I'm looking forward to the little ones later. Oh, yes. And then, for actual Halloween, we've managed to get a Halloween cheesecake from Iceland. Just like that. Hmm? Just like that. You do. Oh just like that. <laughs> Two birds went in the sun. Just like that. Who are you trying to be? Tommy Cooper. Just like that. Just like that. I don't know who you're going on Oh, you, you haven't known the man. The man who died on stage. Tommy Cooper. The comedian with the red fence. you not heard of him? No. You saw that? You saw that? There was like 40 years between us, like four decades. You're saying I'm old? <laughs> there is four decades. Shush. He's probably more from your age. Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Your viewers will. They would know Tommy Cooper. If anyone knows who Mum's talking about. Not Henry Cooper, the boxer. Tommy Cooper, the comedian. If any of you know who she's banging on about, let us know down below. In the comments box, as always, my lovely, is going to say half the time she waffles on. What was it you were saying in one of the vlogs? And people, oh, Norman Wisdom or Norman Wise? Norman Wisdom, yeah. A lot of um, ladies <laughs> responded and said they knew what you were talking about. And I was like, I'm glad you do, because I sure don't. Oh, his food's on its way now. Quick text him. <laughs> Make sure he's, he's awake and he's not chromatose. No, uh, it's just left, so it'll be about half hour. Oh! Oh, it said it's on its way. Oh, but you've got it. Oh. He's got another look coming. Oh, that just li it's literally just said driver not long on its way. Oh, all right then, as long as you got it. All right then, okay dogs. All right, bye bye. Oh, he's had it for 10 minutes. He's eating it now. He said they've given me so many poppadoms. Oh. It literally just said... It might, it might be, Shannon. They've done a double delivery, so he might... <laughs> he, might he might think and somebody's done it and not charged him. So he might knock on the door in a minute and there would be somebody saying, Oh, here's your delivery, sir. Uh... He okay, said, unless it's come to the wrong address. I'm like, well, if you've got the food that you've ordered, yeah, I'm eating it now. Oh, no. Oh, he's got his food and we've had our food. Right. Rating. Good. What was the first thing we had? Pumpkin cake. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. Yep. Sorin loaf. 7. I'm going to give a that a chewy. 7, but yeah. sticky. Jaffa cake. 10. I'm giving that an 8. What are you giving it a 10 for? Oh, you like that one? Yes. You like that one? Yeah. I'm going to give that an 8 because it is still quite sickly if you have a lot of it. Yeah. Mr. Kipling Fiendish Fancy? Uh, 7. I'm giving that a 10. That's my favourite. I just demolish that one. And then the cupcake? Uh, I'd say 8. I'm going to give it like a 4 or oh, a no, 5. Oh, no. No, don't be that bad. I'll give it a 5. The oh. sponge is nice. The icing yeah, yeah. just not a bit of me. I don't like salted caramel at all. God, your face is so. I only when we do these as well. Like I eat half, and then I nibble Believe on half. Leave it or not, after. viewers. I'm a size ten. <laughs> She's eight it all. I just eat half, and then I snack on the stomach. rest after. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that is our lunch. Probably a very unhealthy lunch. No, it's a late lunch. It's an afternoon tea, Shannon. Oh, it could be. It could be a Halloween yeah, afternoon yeah. tea. We'll say it like that. Yeah. And then what is on the cards for dinner tonight? We're going to have some Halloween pasta. <laughs> Mum went out earlier and popped to Tesco because we needed a pasta sauce. I didn't have any. Great. Excuse you. Yeah, so we've got a Loyal Grossman sauce. Now, are we going to put anything in the pasta? Like any mushrooms, onions or peppers? Or are we just going to have pasta? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> we might just have pasta and sauce. It's going to be a really kiddie fun. <laughs> this dinner, right? Don't laugh because it's going to look so childish. I'm going to add some chicken... 
chip straws that we've got in the freezer because they look like spooky fingers. Smileys? No, smileys ain't Halloween, Mum. No, but you've got the uh, ghost things in there, didn't you? From yeah, Arsenal? so we're going to have the chicken ghost shapes. <laughs> it's going to be such a kid's dinner. Then we're going to have pasta in sauce, maybe just in sauce with veg. I'm not too sure. I might just chop an onion and put a little bit of onion in with it. And mushrooms. Okay, and mushrooms. So basically just like a pasta bolognese then if we've added all the veggies. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some chicken straws. They're like chicken chip straws because they look like spooky fingers. And then after that, we'll probably have that like seven, half seven-ish. Have I got to dress up? We haven't got anything to dress up with, Mother. Okay. What? I've got a bin bag out there with a bit of string. We can wear our Halloween dresses on Halloween when we film. Next Sunday when it's actually what, Halloween. What ones? Whatever ones. I've only got that. Oh no, the other. Oh yeah, the pumpkins. We've got yeah, yeah, ones yeah. And pumpkins. Didn't get to wear any of mine last year, so I'm going to wear them this year. Actually, I don't know. Did you see us in our Christmas dresses last year? No. They might have seen you, but they haven't seen Mama G. Oh, well, we've got Christmas Because I was losing weight, wasn't I? <laughs> you know me, viewers. And then, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be having that. And then after dinner, we'll have the little cupcakes. And then I'm so excited because we've got the hot chocolate bomb from Home Bargains that you put in hot milk and stir. What, and all of that jazz, yeah. Oh. And then we've got marshmallow Halloween toppers from B&M. B&M? Home Bargains as well. So, oh, yeah. Wow. So we've had breakfast, Halloween afternoon tea, we're going to have din dins, evening cake, and then evening hot chocolate. <laughs> she was, if you couldn't hear that on camera, she was telling me not to say din dins because it's childish. I always call dinner din dins. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go because I need to tidy my room and get this. So I feel a little bit sick now with these cakes. Have a little bit of a rest and then we shall check in with you when it's dinner time. And are we going to make it a pasta bolognese or just pasta and sauce? Who knows? We shall see ya. So see you in a bit. We head for the sky, it's alright. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's alright. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's alright Scattered in mud, it's alright You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want This time I won't take it to the heart Cause I know we won't make it out dinner for what you saw on the overview but i was not expecting them goes to turn out that big and when we got the bag and it said only 12 i was like really and then when i got them out i said to mom oh my god the size of them they're bigger than like the bernard matthews turkey dinosaurs and unicorns you're already tucking in we have our sources of choice mama g has gone for ketchup i've gone for nando's and lemon and herb and then the pasta as i say can't go wrong in a tomato and garlic sauce slathered it in there so it's nice and saucy should have just put maybe some cheese on it but hey ho mm. is it just me or does anyone else like themed pasta it's not really hot on you <laughs> it's really 
We're not even starting she's moaning something spicy. <laughs> what have you just eaten? Well, breaded mushrooms ain't spicy, oh, I know. aren't they? And one of these little sticks. That's just chicken. Going to give the pasta a whirl. So the pasta shapes are bats, pumpkins, and like little ghouls, I think, like little ghosts. And you can't beat a Lloyd's ghost in a sauce. Oh no, the pasta's all right. If you can still get to Lakeland, or they do it online, one ninety nine a bag Halloween pasta. Highly, highly recommend. Love it. Mm. It's alright, isn't it? And so to go with it, we just put some breaded mushrooms in and you would have seen some chicken straws. But honestly, these little ghosts... I mean, they just look too cute to eat, don't they? I feel bad for, like, biting his head off. Should we... I'm going to... Okay, I've just completely decapitated him. <coughs> Let's see his little feet. There's not really much to say about this. It's going to be like a um, chicken dinosaur, isn't it? But he's completely decapitated now, bless him. Oh. We could have watched the Adams family. If you had it. But what about Halloween? Oh. The film that I've put on is Hubie Halloween. If you remember last year, it's a comedy with Adam Sandler in, so I thought we could watch that. Oh. I don't want to decapitate him. You know what this reminds me of, like, with these little ghosts and that, because it's giving me, like, Bernard Matthews vibes. When you're small. What you like a 90s dinner. Small? What do you remember when you were small? Oh. Meatloaf. From Iceland. Oh, Dad's favourite. Meatloaf with tomato sauce. No gravy, wasn't it? Gravy? Yeah. I can't buy that in Iceland anymore. And when we used Just to buy it in a slab. When we used to come back with all the duty freeze and you had your little boots and your nice little red coat on and standing there like that while I was unloading all the drink. Like fish fingers. Well, we wasn't. Chicken really. unicorns. No, but you wasn't really brought up on that show then. You was brought up on proper food. Yeah, but like. Only as a snack. Like a nineties dinner. Like smileys or waffles. Yeah, yeah. Only as a snack though, because we used to have dinner every night. I might actually do that. We could do twenty four hours having like nineties food. Yeah. So like turkey twizzlers. I still actually have Bernard Matthews turkey unicorns. Don't moan. Brandon's call him. One sec. Oh. See, I think we'll do like a 90s dinner for yeah. 24 hours or like a week of 90s dinners. I still eat uh, turkey unicorns, don't judge me. If they're on offer at Iceland when you get two for three pound on chicken kiefs and turkey unicorns, I'm getting the turkey unicorns as well and I don't even care. I could have smileys and beans, <gasps> spaghetti yeah. hoops on toast. Kiefs weren't really a 90s thing, was it? Yeah, just Mum, just nothing is spicy. <laughs> I, that I haven't, that is ketchup from the bottle. Something's hot. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting and start to eat the food. <laughs> You're always mugging. No, it's hot. We've got no drink. Anyway, I'm going to start eating my food before it gets cold and we'll check in with you once we're demolished and we've watched Hubie Halloween. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide
done and you actually enjoyed it didn't you yeah weren't scary for us she actually had a good laugh and then it is quite late though it's like half ten but you would have seen we are doing the hot chocolate and now the is it little or Aldi I keep forgetting little <laughs> little cupcake so as I say no Aldi Aldi even she's forgetting so actually let's just bring you down these have got like a little bit more of a spooky topping, so I'm excited to try these. And then you would have seen we had the hot chocolate little milk. You put it in warm milk, and then it had like popping candy and chocolate inside. And then we got our little mellow, and you'll recognise these glasses from TK Maxx or Home Sense Hall. Huh? It's white chocolate, but I think inside it had like normal chocolate balls in it. Oh, it's very white chocolatey. Yeah, it smells. Mmm. But it's hot, I mean. The milk's yeah, hot. Yeah, I know. It is like boiling milk. And then the little mallow, he just floats on top, the little guy. Oh, he's cute. I think Home Bargains do these floating marshmallow things at Christmas time as well. So I'll have to see if we can get some for our Christmas hot chocolate. But, as I say, the Tesco cupcakes were a little bit of a letdown for me. Just purely because I don't like salted caramel. So I'm hoping these the icing doesn't look as good as the other ones i mean they do look like something you would do for a kids party but i mean if they taste nice that's all that matters what one you want to go for first uh orange please so you have your orange one thank you and what were these four 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 i think it's either 139 or 159 so basically you get double for practically the same price as Tesco because Tesco was 150 for two. I already think that the ratio with the sponge is a lot better. I mean like that is like an actual cake, not Tesco's was like half. So these come over the wrapping, which I like. And let's see, hopefully it's just a plain frosting. It's not a bad little sponge cake either, it's not heavy. It's not dense. Well, I like them. I much prefer them to the Tesco ones. Number one, because it's actually a good size cake on it. Not like Tesco that was like half filled and then it come to the top of the case of icing. This is actually the cake is three quarters of the case. Nice bit of icing. The other one, the blue one, this looks like a hard frosting, not as spongy. So I'll probably try that one whilst we're watching. I'm just going to put the office on now. I think it's getting stuck to my lip. The coleslaw is still here. It's not budging. I've just ordered some Compede coleslaw patches because I swear by Compede blister patches. So I'm hoping the coleslaw ones do the same too. I would rate them a 9 out of 10. I like them. Mm, nice. Look at that. She's still eating and I'm the one that's polished mine off. I like that. I'm blown out today. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, so, and that I think will conclude. We haven't got any more food. There will, of course, be more Halloween food when we film our Halloween night with us, obviously. That will probably be predominantly MS bits and bobs because obviously we couldn't have them for this video. So you've got the task of popping down there this week and seeing what they've Tomorrow. got on offer. Right. See what they've got on offer. Okay, dokie. And then and look in the uh, Xmas shop for the baubles. We have started Christmas decoration shopping already. Let's just say, but only pick up ones that you really like. If not, wait till we go together. But you can have a look at the colourings. We need to get some more blues this year. We think blues and greens maybe. So we're going to get a bit more mixture because 
now we have the back tree the hallway tree my tree that's three big ones i bought another one august bank holiday so that's four big ones and then mum's got a mini one no but in your room it's the sling one and the one for the kitchen sling isn't it so there's four trees so i was thinking to try and do them color coded but then i was looking over pictures from last year and I actually just like them looking like all bits and bobs. So you know like people have like themes like all red and gold or red yeah, and silver. Yeah, when, when you go to, you can have that, isn't it? Yeah, but I quite like the mismatch. Though. I was looking at the pictures from last year. Like of the big trim, we've got like green uh, apple ball ball, then a red heart ball ball and then a blue bird. Is that why well, we're to, going to have to buy a few more bubbles to fill the big tree in the back? And the new tree that I bought. Right, yes. So there is a reason to buy ball balls, but it's like I was thinking of doing them colour coded and then I thought I don't know. I like ours looking like mismatch. Because we it, just it put them like anywhere. Oh yeah, well I'll be taking like three out of the four trees with me. All the snowflock trees are my trees. I should just be sitting here with a TV and a CD. You like fibre optic. Yeah, but I'm saying I'll be sitting here with you now with just a little settee but then, and a TV. And I'll a table. still have to buy another tree when I go because we'll have to decide which baubles you're keeping for the fiber optic. Oh, that's all right. You can take what you want, Lou, because you've paid for most of them. Or what I'll so if you... I take them all, you'll have to. No, but what I've helped you with, you can take them if you like them. So, yeah, so I need to buy another tree regardless when I move. I probably want to buy, I might actually buy like a fibre optic, I don't know. What about one like then? You just pull it up and it's done. No, I don't really like the pop up ones because you can't put anything on them. But anyway, we're digressing at the end of a Halloween video with Christmas bits. So, yeah, Christmas decoration shopping has started. Oh, it's melting. Is it? Yeah. Mine's still on there. It's like a skin. Mine's still like floating along. No, no, it's like a skin on the top. He's got his eyes and his mouth still. So, yes, Christmas content will be coming very, very soon. I think the 1st of November will be the last Halloween video. And then 2nd of November is when the Christmas content begins. New intro, new outro, new logos. Christmas content. A bit too early, Shannon. No, you have to be ahead of the game, Mama. I've even took two days off work to decorate the house because it's going to take that long. <laughs> I didn't want to do it in a weekend. I had Wait, some leave to use. What we can do is start charging people to come and view and then give it to <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> innit? I don't think anyone would come and view it. And then, um, oh, my throat. Yeah, so Christmas content will begin from the 2nd of November and there are going to be plenty of hauls. Plenty of decorating videos, plenty of cooking videos, plenty of vlogs, like, you know, to get you into the speed with Vlogmas that is coming up. That will be my first Vlogmas, will be our first Sunday of December. So we do five weeks of Vlogmas over here. I start my Vlogmas from the sat last Saturday of November, and then you get the first instalment on the first Sunday of December, and that runs all the way through to the first Sunday of January. So yes. What was your favourite meal from today? So breakfast we had crumpets. I like the crumpets, but I could have had spread cheese next time. Then we had the Halloween afternoon tea with all the cakes. Oh my god, the fondant fancies. They was alright, but a bit sickly too many. Because I'm not really a sweet a person, I'm a lot crisp. And then Din Din's was like a classic 90s. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> With the little chicken ghost. <laughs> but we didn't have no alcohol, did we? No, we'll get some alcohol for the uh We've got some Halloween for Christmas, night. haven't we? We've, got a, we've already got our mulled wine. You would have seen in the Log Cabin vlog. I picked up the mulled wine as soon as I saw it. However, I knew we'd pay a bit more because I paid a fiver in the garden centre and we saw it in Home Bargains the other day for three quid. So I was like, oh, well, I've paid a couple of quid more. But it was a little local garden centre, so I'm happy. And then we've had these cake wise. Not yet, no more yet. These are my favourite, I think. Yeah, favourites. Better than the Tesco ones. Yeah. But overall. And look at the mugs, viewers. <laughs> I thought they were heavy, but they're very light. It's the double walled ones from TK Maxx or Home Sense. I've got the cat. I've got my skull. I think, however, my favourite cake out of the day 
is the pumpkin cake ones, the chocolate like mini. Oh rolls. god, yeah, I love them. Yeah. Might pick up another box. The, these of them. are nice though, but they you can't. Now we've had one each. We're going to have to wait till later on tonight to have the other one. How much later? It's going to be midnight before you have the next lot. Well, it doesn't matter. We can have <laughs> but a we've in got the morning. we've got another box out there, so I think the dates on them until like November. So we'll keep the other box for Halloween. We won't delve into them. Okay. Or Mama G might delve into them and then probably go and replace them and not tell me. <laughs> I, I've got to go to my next tomorrow, haven't I? So yes, yeah, so as I say, stay tuned because you will ever spend the Halloween with us. What videos have we got upcoming? What videos have we got upcoming? Got another food weekly challenge that will be up. And then if you haven't seen, there was a Japanese and Asian candy video just before this along with our monthly favourites. So make sure you get all up to span with the autumn and halloween content because i say second of november the christmas content begins but yeah i'm going to wrap this up because getting very sleepy now and after this hot chocolate i think we'll both end up hitting the sack but yes if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say leave me a comment have you had any of these halloween foods or where do you go are you normally an MS person and as i say are you as outraged as me that they are only doing it one week before what was your favorite meal from today or what was your favorite item as i say i highly would actually recommend that white hot chocolate it is very sickly no it's nice but it's nice for last thing at night like to get you in the mood and get you all cozy for bed but you'd yes. have had a drop of brandy people think that i'm the one that always likes a drink but as i say take care stay safe as always and i shall see you all in the next one bye bye